But I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, I am God and I shall do the impossible for you. Even as you believe me today, I am going to move for you in a way that you will know that I am in the midst. As you come unto me, you will begin to see me filter down into you things that you never thought that you could have. I'm taking you to your wealthy place. I'm taking you to your place of healing. I'm taking you to your place of deliverance. It is not my, my, by my power, by my spirit, but it's not by my, not by my power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord. I will be your ruach. I will be your ruach. I will give you the breath of life. The spirit of the Lord is moving. The spirit of the Lord is moving. It's moving. It's filling you. It's filling you. As you receive the Ruach of Yes. 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 I know what you have need of, said the Lord. And I shall do the impossible. Yes. The breath of God. The breath of God is blowing on you right now. Yes. Yes, the breath of God. The breath of God. The breath of God is blowing on you right now. It's filling this place right now. It's filling your hearts. It's moving in a way that you've never seen it move before. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and begin to see the manifestation of God's power as it's working in you. It's working through you. It's doing what needs to be done. The gifts are being stirred up. The wind of God, the breath of God. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. The might, the power of God. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. I'm going to ask Benaya, would you pray over the room this morning? Yes, Lord. I feel God's presence. Yes, I'll pray over the room. <clears throat> Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this room today. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the flow of your spirit. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your blessings. Thank you for your power, your manifestation. Thank you for your glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for manifesting yourself. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for showing that you are Lord, you are Elohim. Thank you for showing that you are Adonai. Thank you for showing, Lord God Almighty, that you are Jara, the provider. Thank you for showing, Lord God Almighty, um, how, how big and mighty you are, Lord. You bless your name on this room this morning. Lord, we thank you for giving us the, the, the blessings and the love, Lord, and, and, the, and the time to make it into the month of April, Heavenly Father. We glorify your name and we praise your name, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to see the month of April, Heavenly Father. So Lord, so, Lord, in this room today, Lord, we pray for your manifestation of your glory. We pray for manifestation of your power. We pray for, Lord God Almighty, for, 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 Lord, for healing to take place. We pray, Lord God Almighty, for you to show your glory. We pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, let this room be filled today with spirit. I pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, we'll all walk, we'll all walk Lord God Almighty, in your way after this room as we, as we finish. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, Father. We just, y'all heard it say, Ruach Elohim. That's just the power of God, the presence of God that's moving in our lives today. I'm talking like this because I'm in a hotel and I don't want them to throw me out. But I just feel God's presence right now. I'm trying to wait to promise she will close her room because I have some things I want to tell. I know some of the people that partner with me, they're in a room. But I, I'm just I'm just excited about what God is doing in this hour. And I'm telling you right now, even at least, at least Mary. The Lord just told me to tell you that there's a major door that just opened up to you. You planted a seed just now. This is your first fruit. And this is how we honor God right now. We begin to honor God. I can't be talking about what y'all go back and get the replay of what happened on last night. But I got to explain a lot of things to you because the month of May is going to be such a strategic month for you. And as you begin to put things in place, you're going to see the hand of God. If you want to go ahead and start planting your first fruit uh, in the with, with anything with the number four and that's what God is leading you to do you go right ahead because this is how we are honoring God as God began to speak to us and I felt the presence of God talking about Ruach Elohim I felt the angel of the Lord just hovering over his people and I want to give you this prophetic word 
Nicole, get ready for major breakthrough. Get ready for major breakthrough. Trina, get ready for major breakthroughs like you've never seen before. I see the hand of God just moving in your family. I see God saying these seeds are getting get ready to affect your families. Kimberly is going to affect your families. You, you've been believing God for a major breakthrough. Vicky, the, it's going to affect your business. It's getting ready to affect you, Wendy, in a way that you have never seen before or known before. Denise is affecting you right now. The Spirit of the Lord is coming to you, Gwendolyn. You might as well go ahead and just get your breakthrough and see what the Lord has done in your life. You're seeing the manifestation of God what God is doing. Uh, Hillary, go ahead and see God move. Denise, I'm calling your names out because it's important. Kimberly, glory to God. Kimberly, I was waiting on you probably, Sheila, because I didn't want to go. I know some of my moderators. I apologize, Apostle. I no, I understand. Uh, Elder, we begin to move in such a way, and I got to give you my first food, too. Uh, I, I see the Lord moving. I see the Lord moving. He told me to call your name out, Jeanette. See God moving. Double portion is coming to you. Manita, oh my God, and Sherry. I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. Manita, get ready for new doors to open up. Paula, it is your time. Sherry, it's your time. Elder, it's your time. Elder, it's your time. Ashley, it's your time. Linda, it's your season. It is your season for your major breakthrough. Uh, Annette Walker, y'all get ready to see Felicia. You get ready to see what the Lord is going to do. Angel, you're seeing the Ruach Elohim. The Ruach Elohim. Let's just worship the Lord as I call your name out. Let's just let's worship the Lord again because that, that, that song was so powerful. It, it was so powerful. Yes, as we begin to worship God in spirit and in truth, you see the hand of God move. Thank you, Karen. And and, and and as God began to move in such a way, Lakeisha, move forward in the things of God. Go forth. God said, don't, don't hold back. Maria, it's your time. Don't let anything get in your way. God says, I'm moving in your life. I, 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 I thought that, the, oh, okay, let's see. Come on. Let's move. D, you get ready. Double portion, double portion. New doors, new doors, new doors are opening up. Mabel, get ready. My God, glory to God. Yes. Each and every one. God is so special because when we post seeds and it be our first fruit, we're beginning to see the hand of God just move. My God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who are all of you? Who are Baba? Get ready for Jubilee here for you. Jubilee. It's Jubilee time. It's Jubilee time. Yes, Lord. Yes. yes. Cassandra, it's your jubilee time. Prophetess, Sheila, it's your Vanessa, it's your jubilee time. I'm telling y'all right now, Cassandra, it's your jubilee. It's your season. Denise, get ready, get ready. God has not forgotten you. Valerie, God has not forgotten you. My God, glory to God. He has not forgotten you. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm going to give y'all this prophetic word. It is so strong in my spirit to give it to you. Thank you, Mercedes. My God. The bit the God says y'all give me a meter to see the benefits of God. You get ready to see it, Tony. You get ready to see it. I know it is gonna you can at a standstill, but there's a release that's coming to you also, Mary. Ratanya, get ready for your major breakthrough. There's a there's a oh yes, yes, there's a there's a breakthrough coming to you, Mary. My God, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 We get ready to see God move. Yes, Marina. You get ready to see God move. My God. In a, in a level that you've never seen before. Go, Carol, get ready. Don't need to put in the chat, but you need God to be with you today. Yes, essential. You see the hand of God. My God. It's such a movement. Who are all of him? Who are Mary? Mary, 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 double portion, Jubilee, 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 get ready. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me just tell y'all what's happening right now. Let me just tell y'all what's happening right now. My God, glory to God. Let me see if I can cut this down a little bit so y'all can hear me. Feel this place. Ruach Elohim, feel this place. Feel this place, God. Feel this place. So let me tell you what's going to happen with your first group. God says you're going to get ready to experience the sovereignty of me. He says, as you recognize that I am your ultimate source. Yes, Vivian, get ready. He says, a blessing are overtaking you according to Deuteronomy. He says, as you
as you acknowledge me as the sovereign God, Eddie Maria, get ready. Everything, including your family and land. Go ahead, Isaac. You get ready to see your land and the success of your harvest according to Proverbs 3, 9 and 2. The Lord says you're walking in blessings and prosperity. Thank you, Lord. The he says the principal, Vivian, we, we thank God for you. And David, we thank God for you. You get ready to see your borders being enlarged. And you see, you get ready to see as you begin to walk in faith and obedience according to Malachi 3, 10, and 12. You're experiencing Melissa an open heaven. Just get ready to be some spiritual uh, battles that God is going to cause you to prioritize. Thank you, Katrina. And he says, as you're giving your first fruit, you get ready to see patterns being broken. And you get ready to uh, embrace. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Melinda. You get ready to embrace the blessings of the Lord. And you get ready to embrace his patterns in your life. And God says, putting him first in everything. He says, you get ready to see, the, I'm including your finances. And I am your source. And you get ready to see a major resource. Resources come to you according to Matthew 33. You get ready to see cultivation and generosity. That you will have more than enough. Thank you, Basket. Thank you, Burnett. Thank you right now. You, I release the spirit of generosity to you. And God says, I could trust you. I could trust you when I give you the sign and sign and Patricia. I could trust you when I tell you to do some tangible things. Thank you, Patricia. You get ready to see the expression of my faith and my trust. And I'm going to use you, Pamela. I'm getting ready to use you as an example. You're going to be an example. Thank you, Angela. In your family. And God says, this is even your seed, Bethany. It's a way of worship and dedication. So, so feel you. You get ready to see a reminder of past deliverance. He says, I work for you and pass the living. I work for you right now. And you can get ready to see provision for the poor and extension. You get ready to have Ruby and Berkey, Pete Berkey, people coming in and supporting your vision, says the Lord Angela and Pamela, even as you're sowing seeds for this. And he says, and the benefits, I kept seeing Cunningham. I kept seeing them. I kept seeing y'all gorgeous expanding. It's expanding. It's expanding. It is expanding. It is enlarging. It is enlarging. And so when we hear that word, we ought to know that it is so important that even Geneva, as God begins to expand us, Delroy, we're seeing God move and we got to be ready for it because we don't want to miss the time in Jeanette. We don't want to miss the time in Elder Jeanette and Doreen. We don't want to miss God's timing because when he is expanding, we got to be in position. There's some things that I really, really need to repeat. Some of you didn't get a chance to hear because last night, it was the Lord began to show me. Y'all don't understand the season that we're in. We can't afford not to sow seeds. We thank you, Bethany, because AI is taking over. How many of y'all know that? And we got to use it to our advantage. It is taking over. Uh, I'm letting y'all know. I'm going to tell you some of the jobs. Thank you, Monica. I'm going to tell you some of the jobs that's going to be obsolete. And Glenda, uh, and I want y'all to put in the chat, those of you ready to go into your ministry, your businesses, because it's going to take that. You're going to have to have streams of income. You're going to have to have a lot of stuff uh, uh, in front of you and, and, and know what God is telling you to do. Some of you have been trying to get it off the ground. And every time, I want you to reset the room. Those of you that's really, really ready to go in business, are you in business, Monica, and you want God to come on, you want God to expand that business, you want God to expand that business and give you ideas. So in this month, you will end up strong by December. You've been having issues with your business every time you want to uh, give your, you know, want to do business, something major comes up and attack your finances. And I'm telling you, I saw the Lord. Uh, uh, swallowing up the canker worm and the palmer worm, the, those things that has been trying to steal your harvest for so long, Sharon, it's, it's, it's designed to try to steal your harvest. And, and y'all let Dr. Earl in, but it's not going to happen. Thank you, Angie. It's happening. You, yeah, that's, he's got to put us in a position. So let me just give you this. We talked about the AI, and I want to give you this because when the Lord gave me this 
this word for April. I had never heard this word before. And I want my husband, if he could explain the definition, he's so good with words. And I'll give you what I wrote down. He says in this month of April, he says there's going to be supernova moment. It's a supernova moment. Baby, have you ever heard of that saying before? Uh, yes, uh, and, uh, excuse me. The the actual term for the supernova is the speed in which a meteor is is coursing through the universe, and so it's usually at a lightning speed um, that's unprecedented. Of course, um, we've had episodes where novas were moving through the universe, uh, and that it would it would run the risk of piercing the atmosphere of uh, of the earth which of course would be a catastrophic issue if it did but um, again it's just a meteor that's running or coursing through the universe at a lightning speed and that's and i had never heard that term when god gave it to me that we had entered into a supernova moment and um it's almost like a stellar explosion y'all know what stellar is it's going to be memorable stellar a stellar explosion it's going to outshine when a supernova moment comes it outshines an entire galaxy before fading from view over weeks or months and god said y'all put that in the chat you have entered into a supernova moment where you can ready to see a stellar uh, explosion in the areas of your life and he says it's going to outshine all the things that have been fading in your life in weeks to come and and in his saying it talks about that a supernova moment in that way that um Kyle, it's just, it's, it's you know they're talking about the eclipse and we're going to be dis discussing some of those things and they're talking about what's going to happen in april 6th and and it is so important that you understand that we're experiencing the sovereignty of god when we're saying we're having this supernova moment it's a creation it talks about the stars in Genesis 1, 14 and 19. Thank you, Daisy. And it's a testament. It's you are you're walking in April with a creative power, the creative power of God. You get ready to see prophecies and visions, such as the dream of, of, of Joseph in Genesis 37. Supernovas are starting to study and quick. Go ahead, Britt. You know this is your topic. You go ahead and explain that too. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. A definition. A supernova is a that suddenly increases greatly in the brightness because of the caster, uh strophic explosion that ejects most of its mass. That would be like one of the biggest explosions that uh, actually scientists um, experience in one of the um, definitions the Earth gave you a short. Boy, y'all, can y'all imagine that God is telling you spiritually that you're getting ready to, to, uh, uh, receive a, a supernova moment with an explosion, which is one of the biggest explosions that has ever happened. That's why I kept looking out the window because I thought it was the 4th of July, Prophet Sheila. I heard the explosion. I had never heard that word before. Y'all need to put that in the chat. A supernova moment. And, and, and you're going to get ready to see visions involving. It says a visions involving around the cosmos, battles, and signs. And it's going to conquer things that you have not been able to conquer. Even it, it, It's going on your seed. It's going on your first fruit. It's happening in your house. These stars and and, and the, you, you're entering into a cosmic moment and, and it describes a supernova moment it's the fascination with stars in the heavens it's going to be a testimony because it's going to be you're going to stand in awe of it you're going to look at it the wonder of it the phenomenal thing that's going to come forth to inspire to enlarge your border it, it, and the appearance of it, everybody, and guess what? God showed me it's grand, it's grandiose, it's grand, it's coming before you. It's not, it's not gonna be hidden. The supernova moment. I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, when I start looking at this, I had never seen this before. And the Lord began to speak to me. He says he's moving right now in the supernova moment. And so he says to tell the people of God, he says, it's getting ready to affect the borders, it's getting ready to affect 
It's going to cause the giant, you as a giant slayer, you're going to come forth and you'll hit the target and it'll kill the target right away because you're entering into your supernova moment. It's calling you to a global anointing where revival is going to break out with this supernova moment. It's the suddenness of God. You will hear God saying, prepare ye the way, prepare yourself, prepare your temple, get ready because what you've been desiring, the almighty God is coming in and giving you that moment. God says even the prophets and the prophetic voices and the apostolic anointing, you talk about prophetic poor, is coming to you with this supernova. And he says, come unto me, come unto me, come unto me, come up a little higher, come up a little higher. I'm releasing burdens. I'm, I'm, I'm causing you to enter into a rest. He said, take my yoke upon you. He says, I'm giving this to you. I'm giving this to you. I'm, I'm, I'm moving in your behalf. And I, I, I mean, I saw the cosmos. I saw the angelic host. I saw the assignment. Thank you, Sheila. I thank you. Glory to God. Sheila Horn. I saw the cosmos. I saw God just beginning to move in this supernova moment. And it was so many activities that was going on. It was it was a lot of activities going on. And it was just moving so fast. It was just an explosion. An explosion after explosion after explosion after explosion. It was one thing after another. It wasn't stopping in the month of April. Every single day you get better to experience a supernova moment uh, for uh, a nova moment for the, for the month of April. And God says that's why it's so important for you to do your spring cleaning, get everything out of the way, don't be distracted so that no, you don't you know, you don't want everybody to experience what's about to happen with you because everybody cannot experience this kind of glory. It's like an invasion. It's invading. It's invading. It's coming forth. It's coming forth with the spirit of might and the spirit of power. And, and, and I, I just let some of the moderators, come, you know, I hope y'all did your, you know, did your Googling. But I'm experiencing this. And I was just trying to figure out what is this? Probably sharing. I was sitting up there like, what is this going on? I see so much division. I see people. Uh, acting ungodly in the body of Christ and think that it's God and God was the, the fussing and bickering among each other but yet it's still what is God doing and God said to me I'm, I'm a, are you experiencing the wheat and the tear I'm moving out those who don't want to do right those who have not listened to my voice those that have not done and been obedient to me because when I hit when you hit when you're being hit with the supernova moment he says that it's gonna be it's, it's, it's gonna take your breath away and it's going to cause the Ruah to come in you that's coming from heaven and it's going to move you faster than the speed of lightning my God I mean every single thing is about to happen to you and it's a supernova moment I want to give my, the mic to my husband while I get the rest of my life Yes, yes, my phone working. Okay, so again, when you're talking about the supernova, it is the, the explosion that releases stars or meteors that courses through the universe. And this is the movement that God is obviously prophesying that he's going to do in the lives of the people who are trusting him, who was in, excuse me, in service of him. That this is your supernova moment, that God is going to explode you into his favor, an explosion of his grace, an ex explosion of favor and abundance about to, to invade your life in a way that you've never seen it before, in a way that you've never had it before. Uh, the fears and the anxieties that the enemy is trying to bring upon you. Uh, cow back from the things of God to stop giving, stop praying, stop seeking his face. He said, this is the moment that's going to bring you into his grace, his favor. You're going to have more power, more anointing, more grace than ever before. Because again, this is an explosion for the season that we're about to enter into. You always know that God Something is about to take place. There is a transferring. There is a, a transformation that is about to take place based on the, con the the things that God allows to happen in our lives. And some would think that it's chaos and that it's confusion, but it is an explosion that moves things. It, it transfers things in the natural. If an explosion takes place, 
It's going to displace some things. It's going to move things out of the way. And so in your life, it may seem as though things are leaving you, but God is simply making room for what's to come next. He's moving out people, circumstances, situation, so that you can begin to make room for the grace, for the favor, for the power, for the authority, for the confidence that you're about to walk in. That's unprecedented because these supernovas are not something that happens every day. As a matter of fact, they're rather random. They kind of happen unexpectedly. We know that the universe, if we were to get very you know, scientific, we know that the universe is expanding. Scientists has already known uh, through the, the space exploration that the universe is expanding. It's growing. Uh, there are more universe, there are more planetary systems. There are more uh, uni uh, there are more uh, universes that, that we don't have not seen because of this explosion, this continued uh, erotic, it's, uh, in the sense of erratic rather, uh, explosion that is expanding the universe. And so as that's happening in the natural, so it is in the spirit that God is expanding you. He's giving you more insight. You're be beginning to hear more in the spirit. You're being able to see more in the spirit. And so just get ready because when this happens, uh, people will come and people will go. But whenever they go, it is only an indication uh, that God is moving them out of the way so that you can make room for the new, make room for the greater, because greater is coming. And one of the things that it was saying too, baby, it says it's the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. It's the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. It's a blast. It's extremely bright. It's super powerful explosion of a star. It is the biggest. Y'all put in the chat. The biggest explosion. And I'm going to explain to you. And, and, and according to scientists, is there any science major in here? Someone that works in science that's in the VIP listening lounge. If you're here. Uh, why don't you raise your hands and we'll let you come up. I'm telling y'all right now, one of the things it says, it's a dying star. In other words, when the supernova makes this explosion, it's actually coming to the end of something. So it's coming to complete something. Come on, y'all. It's coming to complete something and bringing it to the end. So it's go you're going out big. You have an explosion that's going to take you all the rest of the year. It says it's an explosion at the end. It's the end of it. It gives you it's more energy. And I'm telling you right now, this thing is so powerful that it's causing the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. Let me tell you, you can ready to have the biggest testimonies, the biggest healing, the biggest miracle that you've ever seen, the biggest seed that you ever had, the biggest breakthrough that you ever had. I'm going to go ahead and let um, probably Sheila speak. This thing is powerful. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm just over here just basking in his presence and just the words that have been released. I believe it is going to be so supernatural, and I believe that's why, and I honor everyone that's here, everyone under the sound of my voice, uh, the Lord certainly is here, and he's speaking. There is such a supernatural increase. I, I got the word exponentially. God just wanted to do it in such a way where it's going to be so big. It's so big what he is doing in our lives. And that's why even with the solar Shonda, even with the solar eclipse, what's getting ready to happen in this month? This, this, this is gonna be so, so supernatural in addition to it's gonna be one for the regular books. But I, I, I saw the Lord saying to many of you, even as you all, as we are experiencing the solar eclipse in the month of of April, that it's not a coincidence that it's happening in the month of April. It, this month is a very significant month. I was, I was, I was uh, uh, at the uh, book launch on yes on Saturday. Uh, a young lady she came out. She came um, uh, and she was just talking about how uh, how the Lord had. She, she follows the rule of our She she, uh, she spoke very highly of you and um, in the uh, the prophetic intercession room, and she. Um, she was saying how she needed to get here. She said the Lord get to the book. She said that the Lord had been dealing with her 
with the number two and the number four, the number two and the number four. And so with the significance of what God is doing with the solar eclipse, that when the sun in the moon, they shine that, when the sun in the moon, when they, when, when it, it appears to be a black out, um, uh, another time that it happened is when, matter of fact, when, when um, uh, Jesus, oh glory be to God, when he went to the cross,
resurrection of Jesus. And it says the supernova is caused, it happens at least five times. The suns go out with a fascinated bang. It's a massive star, it's burning huge about some nuclear fuel at their core. It says it produces tons of energy. It's very hot. Its heat generates pressure. And the pressure created by the star, nuclear burning also, keeps the star from collapsing. And it says a star is in the balance between two opposite forces. So isn't that what we deal with? The star's gravity tries to squeeze the star into the smallest, tightest, all possible. But because of the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core, it creates strong outward pressure. And this outward pressure pushes and push and resists the inward squeeze of gravity so that even gravity cannot stop the explosion. Oh my God. How many have been squeezed? You felt the pressure. You felt that pressure come upon you. Every time you try to get ready to go forth in the things of God, you felt squeezed. You felt like it was, everything was so tight. But God says, I put a fire inside of you. It's that, that nuclear burning inside of you that's coming forth. And it's going to cause an outward push that will resist anything inward, inwardly that tries to squeeze. The gravity, out, the gra squeeze the gravity, and it's coming forth, and it's coming with heat. It's coming forth, and the pressure. God says your pressure was necessary. It was necessary because what it did was it fueled, it fueled the fire, and causing this supernova explosion to come to you is bright. It is phenomenal. It's coming swiftly. And you might as well get ready. I didn't mean to interrupt you, uh, probably should, but I wanted to explain to, to them because I had, I don't know about you, I had never heard of this. I never heard of this. I, I didn't. I, the supernova, that's why I know my husband heard of it. And, and it's causing, it's happening in systems. It, it, it's happening in systems, y'all get this. It's happening in systems. And nobody would be able to deny it. Deny it. It's bright. They say, how bright is the supernovas? These spectacular events can be so bright that they outshine their entire galaxies for a few days or even months. They can be seen across the universe. Let me tell you something. Didn't God say that he was going to enlarge your borders? Didn't God say that he was enlarging your capacity? And he says, you're the light that's shining on the inside of you with the supernova uh, explosion. Everybody will be able to see it. You will not, let me tell you something, you will not be able to handle it. And it's not a common thing. Like my husband was saying, it's not common. It's not common. It is something that normally does not happen, but it's undeniable. It is undeniable. Okay, I'm sorry. Probably Sheila, do you want to add any more to that? Oh, no, that was good. No, but I totally agree. And that supernova is really in line with what was released regarding what's happening with the solar eclipse and mm -hmm. the, us, the shining in, uh, of the light and the glory. Uh, but 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 it, again, it is it's, it's everything that you said. I totally and I'm not heard of the supernova of uh, myself either. But but I believe that because of the Earth and, and what's happening in the solar system, mm -hmm. and I love what you said about the system. The Lord is downloading this to me as we speak, and that's why when you tap into the spiritual realm, God will give you revelation. He will mm -hmm. give you insight regarding things that you don't you don't you're, you don't have language for. But, but he will give you an insight for you to articulate it in the way that you can articulate it. And then again, we will count on and depend on the scientists and those that are experts in that field to give us, you know, the correct terminology and things of the nature. But uh, but but it is also, again, the solar system aligning with the creative. Uh, yeah. Ooh, well, I feel, listen, about the present, something is happening in this room. That's why do not put your seed in the ground. Make sure maybe you get your seed around. I've already sold my 
I, I see it already in the prophetic intercession. But God is doing something so yeah. supernatural. And again, it's something that's happening in the cosmos. Something that's happening in the solar system. And that's why there has to be a divine alignment with creation and with what's happening in the solar system because of what is getting ready to hit the globe. And so that's why we have to make sure more than ever that we are discerning the times that we're in as the sons of Issachar designed the times, discern the times that they're in. We don't want to be doing the right thing, but we perceive as being the right thing at the wrong time. Yeah. And that's why timing has to be so important. That's why, like you said about businesses, God is getting ready to give us even more creative ideas and witty inventions. You're not going to be stressing about money, but everything is necessary as it relates to what God is speaking and what God is saying. And we have to be able to hear the word God. And that's why even with the supernatural as it relates to the protective eyes, God said, I'm protecting your vision. I'm protecting your eyes. So it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit realm. And that's why because the brightness of what's getting ready to hit the globe, we as the body of Christ, because we are so connected and in tune with what God is speaking and what God is saying, we're not going to be walking around in fear. We're not going to be panicking. No, no. we're we're going to be persistent. We're going to be purposeful. And we're going to be moving forth in what God's called us to do. So we have to make sure that, again, that we're tapping into our creative juices. We're tapping into our creative abilities. And that we are hearing the voice of God as to what we should be doing. Having these multiple streams. Doing, you know, getting these books for, uh, 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 published. Glory be to God. Feel yeah. God. Listen, starting these new business. What, is, what do you have in your hand? My, my, uh, 99% of what you that God is going to use is what you already have in your hand, what you have in your house. He told them, all the prophets that, the prophets said, what do you have in your hand? Go and borrow. Glory be to God. That's, That's good. Come on. That's good. Uh, borrowing. Glory be to God because God's going to give you strategies where you're going to be able to pay it back and then you're going to be able to live off the rest. I feel God, but let me tell you, you got me stirred up over here. My and, God. You know, and the Lord began to show me because it's really, it's really when we pray, prayer put, takes on the form of energy and it goes up before God and it reaches the massive, it reaches his ears and then it's being released back to us the answer prayer. And so even as we're praying and when we're sowing and when we're giving and when we're praising God, this is a result of this, this supernova explosion that's coming to the body of Christ. This thing is so powerful. But Naya, I'll release it to you. Wow, wow, wow. Everything that's been said is so accurate and it's so timely. Like God God is always moving and He's always He's always got something for us. You know what what I love about this topic and love about this room is um what came from mind was the transfiguration of Jesus in Matthew 17 when he went up onto the mountain and what is so um what is so um, interesting about that is Jesus transfiguration. He 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 turned into like a bright light. That's how it's described in Matthew seventeen. He turned into a bright light, and his face was transfigured dramatically in the presence. So his face was shown in like a heavenly glory. And what that what that relates is, you know, this is like a new era. This is like a new mark in the calendar, and this is the time for us, you know, as we draw close to God, we can be transfigured like that. Our faces, our image will be represented like Jesus. And this is also mirrored in Second Corinthians chapter 3, I think from verse 18, where it says, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go ahead and read it, where it says, But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror of the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the Lord. So it's like, as we use this time, you know, to get closer to God, you know, as we use the time to draw closer to him, you know, he removes the old veil from our faces and then we, we get this new veil and we become like mirrors who brightly reflect the glory of Jesus. We, we become like these mirrors who are transfigured into the, the same image like Jesus was transformed into from one bright light to another bright light from glory to glory. And this is like the glorious transfiguration that comes from, from God, it comes from his spirit. And this is what I love is so accurate and so timely about the topic of this view and what it actually means. Thank you so much for letting me speak.
This is so good. And let me tell you what happens too is that y'all know the enemy wouldn't want to take glory in this. And because it has such an explosion, probably Sheila, it causes a black hole. And remember that time we talked about the black hole and they heard demons shouting and screaming in the black hole. We remember we released that sound. Even the enemy is trying to get a hold to the supernova, but he will not be able to do that. God is causing even spirits to be um, uh, uh, paralyzed. He's paralyzing the works of the enemy because this explosion that's coming through you, he was not even aware of it. It's coming so suddenly. And we need to understand, please don't take what I'm saying lightly. Please don't take what I'm saying lightly. When God is speaking something like this and he's talking it from a scientific point of view, do your homework. Know what you're the moment that you're in so you won't miss your moment. Let me give you this right here, what we talked about last night. Because as we begin to move in the supernova moment, this thing is so powerful. What God is doing is he's really showing us that we must position ourselves in this hour for the month of April. And the month of April is also causing creativity to come forth. Many of you have been making excuses by writing a book. It's time for you to go ahead and write that book. It's time for you to take the time to write the book. Many of you have been making excuses. And in and, and, and the supernova moment from a spiritual perspective, it's brief. It's, and he, it says it's a brilliant explosion. It's leading to widespread influence and impact. You get ready to have an influence on people like you've never seen before. It's going to impact people's lives. When you walk into the room, they will see that supernova anointing that's on you. You would not be able to hide it. You'll have it on the plane. You'll have it when you walk through your daily activity. This thing is so powerful as you begin to walk in it. And, and, and then it told us that, and I had never heard this before, it's talking about this is the year of slow. This is the month of slow. And you say, well, if, if God's going to have us moving fast, what does it mean by the year of slow? It seems like it's, it's contradicting itself. No, the Lord is saying, I'm encouraging you to slow down to the things that you have put your human hands in so that you can position yourself to hear what I have to say. And, and because when the supernova come upon you, you're going to need to know when to rest. You're going to need to know when there needs to be patience and you need to come up closer and I'm designed that you be more intimate with me. You're going to experience the goodness of God. He's highlighting the importance of you resting, being patient, and being intimate with him. If you don't rest, you're not going to know what to do with it. It's just like getting an explosion and don't know what to do with it. you got to be in a position to rest and hear God clearly. So when you release the energy, when you release the power of God that's coming from the supernova moment, you will know what to do with it. You won't blow up. You won't sit up there and say, it was just too overwhelming. It will be overwhelming to you because it's not in your human ability. It is so supernatural that in the natural, your body would not have been able to handle this explosion. But it is coming to you. You must rest so that God can give you downloads. you got to rest your body. you got to be able to trust him, be intimate with him, get ready to move forward in him because it's causing an invasion of his glory glory to come forth in the earth and people will be left behind who's not walking in the character of God and who's not connected to God. Dr. Miller, I give Good morning, Apostle Honor, you honor Pastor Mike and everyone on the platform, all of you. This is so good. I enjoy what I've already heard thus far, and I am receiving, but what I was thinking about is why you guys were talking is Paul on the road to Damascus doing the wrong thing. He thought he was doing the right thing by persecuting the Christians, and then Jesus, you know, then he he brought the bright light and he came, fell off his horse. And he was like, Paul, Paul, why dost thou persecute me? So we have to be, I see what you guys are saying, doing the right thing at the right time. And we do have to be discerning. And in order to you discern. Just gave me a revelation. But she just gave me a revelation. What you think hit, hit Paul so hard that knocked him off of his horse? That he got yeah. blind. That was yeah. the brightness. And we were yeah. talking about the eclipse of God. That's a yeah. revelation. That was the brightness. Y'all 
you know, God done got me stirred up. That it, he didn't have on his spiritual, he didn't have on his spiritual guard. Come on. Come on. Yes. And it blinded him. And so we're not prepared for this. It will blind us that we won't be able to see what God really want to do. Oh, that's okay. And yeah, because that's what I was just thinking about. Uh, the bright light and then the thing is if we're not and then the Lord been dealing with me about discerning that learning to discern not only in the natural but in the supernatural and in order to do that we cannot afford to have hindrances in our lives and and going back to doing the right thing at the right time and not the wrong thing at the wrong time that is going to be so crucial for this hour and i believe that god is still speaking to us about holiness like Prophet Sheila has already said, and we've got to continue to just be before him in a time of prayer and sometimes even fasting. It's it's not going to hurt us to turn a plate down every now and then because some of us, you know, like me, I could do that. I could afford to do that. So, but anyways, God is going to do some great things and I'm glad that I'm going to be able to see it. And in order to see with our spiritual eyes, we definitely have to be able to discern because sometimes the perception could be off if you're not doing the right thing or if you're just doing your own thing and see paul was doing his own thing he hadn't heard from god when he was trying to go persecute the christians no that's not hearing from god god ain't gonna tell him to do that and that's what's happening today we've got so many believers as you've already stated uh coming against one another and that's another thing you know with this new glory we got to be able to show love. We can't be coming against one another or we're going to be knocked off of our rockets because God is love and he's already demonstrated. He is love because he sent his only begotten son that whosoever will can be saved. He sent them for us to have life. And if we want life we and want it more abundantly, we got to choose Jesus. He already told us what to choose and he said choose life. So choosing life is choosing the light, the light that's going to be shining, the glory of the Lord. And like Moses, when he went up on the mountaintop, when he went there, guess what? He came back down, he had to cover his face that's so people couldn't even stand to see his face. That's there you go. He couldn't that's even stand to see the face. So guess what? Let's move in it. <laughs> that's that supernova moment. We can go all yeah. through the Bible. Where the light is so bright. This thing is so good. Where the light is so bright. I know where the light is so bright, we can see the glory of the Lord on us. He said, rise and shine. That supernova moment. You think you have something? Oh, yes. Um, that was good. I was actually going to uh, mention the one with, uh, about Moza. with uh, Moses. Uh, but yes, but even as you guys were um, talking, and, you know, as I was thinking about the supernova, um, you know, because it's so powerful that it occurs often, if it does occur too often, that if we will lose the atmosphere and it will perish, you know, that's how you know that God created the earth and he's a genius because even though he created a supernova, he still won't let it destroy the earth. He, but he will still, but he said you are, he's saying that you're a natural, uh, you know, destroyer, that you will only destroy anything that comes in the path. <laughs> So easy, you know, is, 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 is
you know, and then so when you see the star at night, you're actually seeing the sun through through the star. So even though if you may not feel like God is there, you may not you understand that it's there. He's even inside you reflecting out of you and he is supposed at the right moment at the right time. So even if, you know, like the God said, you know, let your light shine, let your earth shine and whatnot. You know, it's like so he goes before you. But when he goes before you, you rotates when he rotates. That's when he comes. That's when the that's the, when the star comes out and he reflects through you. So, you know, when people see you, it's not your own light. It's also God light as well. So when Moses, you know, was at the burning bush, that was a supernova. I'll give you an example. So when God, so when Moses was like, let me see you. God was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can only give you a little bit of glimpse of me because you won't be able to handle it. Just like the supernova of the star. It could give you just a amount of, not a, 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 a right amount, but not too much that it was destroyed. So he said, I'll give you a little bit. So he said, fine, you want to see me? All right, I will rotate a little bit for you to go ahead and see my back. So even though he was around the burning bush, he was already around, you know, the light and whatnot. Because God is saying, if I'm before you, who can be against you? But just like the sun, when he rotates, you know, he went before you, he's behind you. If God is behind you, who could be against you as well. He said, not only in front of you, anyone can come against you, but also behind you, no one can come against you because my light is still shining through you, that it will blind the enemy. So the Holy Spirit is saying this, you're expanding with understanding. You're expanding with understanding. Just like the star understood his assignment, you will also understand your assignment as well. In other words, he said, you will not leave this earth without a statement. He said, you're going to have a statement and an imprint on this earth that I gave you since birth, because since birth, you had work. In fact, before the earth, you had work. That's why he thought about you before you were born, before you were born, before you were born. And just like Jesus went out with a bang, you look at it in Acts chapter 1, you think about it, he, in Acts 1, he just didn't say, all right, you guys, I'm going back to heaven. They said he went up in the clouds, right? Like he even lifted up in the clouds and even the angels came up because glory lifted him in that light because he completed his assignment on the earth. He didn't retire from his assignment. He completed his assignment for the earth. But before he left with the clouds, he left a bang again. I'm going to tell you why with the disciples. He said, okay, even though I'm leaving you, but I'm leaving you with a super bang, with something supernatural. He said, before I go up, like my mom mentioned, Ru'a Akadosh, not only will you get my Ru'a Akadosh, but you will also get my Kratos, which also is power. That simple, you know, that's just like a supernova when it hits you. And that's something that they felt, you know, in Acts 2, too. So Jesus went out with a bang. Like I said, he didn't retire. He completed his assignment on earth. And then she already mentioned uh, my Mountain Sinai. But the thing I like about it, like you were saying, that you got, you know, it's not for everybody. You got to be careful when you touch it. Even when Moses went up, he said, hey, no, 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 don't let everybody up here. They cannot come up, up here. You know, they can't, they can't have their hands. They won't be able to handle it. Even when some of the elders were able to come up later on, prior to that, they had to had a clean hands first before they came up. And the thing about it is still to this day, we still use Jesus. And I'm so glad he's not on retirement or confinement. He's always there when we need him. And to be honest, if you think about it, God came with the bang like a supernova. He said, what? Boom. Let there be light. That was the first thing that was documented in the earth. So God came with the bang. Huh? So God came with the bang. We said, boom. Let there be light. And then Jesus left with the earth. And then Jesus left with the bang. God came and then Jesus left with the uh, uh, left the earth with the bang. But he's still in the earth. And God is saying this. That will be a supernatural, supernatural. He said, not just a supernova. But he says a supernatural nova. That only that the righteous can sustain. And God will always be the same. He will be with you because you are a glory character. And this is so powerful. There's so much revelation. Thank you, Unique. There's so much revelation coming from a guy and everybody else. Is that that's why he said, Moses, you can't get all of this and live. Because the supernova is an explosion. And unless you have God to help you when you get it, it will just cause you to be frustrated. You'll just burn up because you wouldn't know what to do with it. Pastor Michael, you want to say something before I turn on Dr. Earl? Okay, Dr. Good morning, Apostle Francina. Good morning, Pastor Wilson. Everyone in the room, thank you for this conversation this morning. And as I reflect upon the conversations and what has been shared uh, through others in the room, you know, and there's this um, slang that people use, and some of you probably have heard it, you know, somebody's about to blow up. 
you know what I mean? They're about to become big. They're about to become important. They're, you know, so whatever they're doing is really about to hit the stage and, and for others to see. Well, you know, but when someone blows up, so to speak, there's been this momentum. They're gaining fuel. They've been adding things to their experience. They've been learning and preparing and practicing and doing that which is necessary. So when the right time hits, when they hit their stage, when they get to the point where God is ready to present them to others on the earth, it looks as if they come out of nowhere, but they've been building over time. Well, a supernova builds over time until it gets to that point. And, and when you look in the literature on the supernova, it says that it's coming to the end of its life. And let's put it this way. It's coming to the end of its present form. That means that when you blow up, you will no longer be the way you were. A supernova is no longer the way it was. But when it blows up and when you blow up, you will give light to others because there is an afterglow in the, in, in the supernova. And when you blow up, there's going to be an afterglow and people will see all of what God is doing in you. And I'll use the mic. Thank you. Did you hear them? It comes to the end of it, but it's still not the end of what God has in store for you. Oh, this is so good. This is a book right here. I mean, I never heard of it. I'm just being honest with you. I wasn't really a good, you know, I like science, but not to that degree. But I never heard of this. And it's so much deeper because you can see all through the Bible. And when Unique was saying, Jesus came into the earth, he came into the earth with a supernova. Yeah, that's what caused Mary to be pregnant. It was that supernova. And then he left. Go ahead, Papa Sheila. Go ahead. Uh, you know I'm over here. I'm like, you know me. I love history. Um, everything is so prophetic with this powerful release. Uh, Dr. Earl, uh, probably is unique. My God, Dr. Leslie, Pastor Michael, Benaya, everybody that is released. My, this this is a powerful, and you know, prophetically, we look at everything from a prophetic lens. <laughs> Glory to God. But I'm going to go back to, even as it relates to the supernova occurring in the last stage in the life of a massive star. This is a word for someone in the room. You are thinking I'm too old. I don't have. I, I, I've wasted a lot of years. I hear the Lord saying that you are not too old. The Bible declares in Psalms 92, and, and I'm gonna start at verse 12. So I'm gonna put that in the chat. It says, "The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord." That's why, uh, Dr. Leslie, she reiterated something I said in King of Citizens United from earlier, that we have to make sure that we are living holy. Glory be to God. When you are living holy, I don't care if you're 112. Colonel Sanders didn't get started to use in the 60s. Glory be to God. I feel God in this room. It says the, 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 the Nova star, the supernova, it occurs in the last stage in the life of a massive stars that are at least eight times larger than our sun. Listen, and then it goes on to say in Psalm 92, verse 14, uh, uh, let me go back to verse 13, it says, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bear fruit in old age. Come on. They shall be uh, They shall be fresh. Well, I don't say you fresh. Okay, you like ducky fresh. I know I'm dating myself. <laughs> Listen, you are going to be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is a right, he is a rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. We have work to do. We are on assignment. So don't you count yourself out because you may be in your 60s or your 70s or your 80s or your 90s. Glory be to God. God still has need of you. And then let me go back to the top of this definition of a, of a supernova. It is colossal. It is a colossal explosion of a star. And then I looked up what the, the definition of colossal. It means it is extraordinary. Glory be to God, it's size and it it's gigantic. Glory be to God, it is huge. What God is getting to do is huge. It is going to be bigger than you think. Lord, I feel God in this place. But listen, baby, be encouraged because if the only superstar is Jesus Christ. But when you have him living on the inside of you, the word of the Lord declares greater works than these shall you do. The brightness of the star, Lord, we got that we've been talking about the glory of we're talking about how 
angels are testified to you about these things for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright and morning star. Listen, I'm over here running. Oh, I feel God. Listen, this room is fire. But to those, again, don't you count yourself out. Come on, because there, there's a timing of God. And because you may not have done it when you thought you were going to do it, glory be to God, God still has need of you. You still have what it takes, glory be to God, because the word of the Lord declares in Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 103, glory be to God, verse 5, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? In 2 Corinthians 4, 16, says, so we do not lose heart. So your outer self is wasted away. Our inner man is being renewed day by day. Ten times better. Come on, Daniel, I feel God. We're ten times better. You have what it takes. God is born upon you. He's born upon what he's called you to do. Glory be to God. And you're not too old. In Isaiah 46, verse 4, and I'm you have my mic. Even to your old age, I am he. And to yes. great hands, I will carry you. I have made you, glory to God, and I will bear you. I will carry you and save you. You have what it takes because the greater one lives on the inside of you. And Joe said it this way. Let his flesh become fresh. Come on, there's that word again. With you, let him return to the days of his truthful figure. Come on, you ain't going to need no Viagra. I feel the way to God. Come on, y'all. I feel God in this room. And you know, you know, the thing is, is that I went to when I went to the doctor on Friday, the doctor looked at me, he was just like, What is you glowing? And Woo! you you he said, You are you are older than me, and I look older than you. That's what the supernova does. It renews your youth. And and, and you know what, probably sure, what's so crazy about it is that when I got this word, we're seeing the supernova all over the body. Yes! That's what's blowing me away. It's like, it's right there in front of us. It's right there. It's in front of us. But God is showing us his supernova time after time after time after time. Come on, y'all. That's good, Apostle. That's good. The, the supernova blinds the lion that it could not eat. Dan, the chair like Meshach and Abednego, uh, I mean, you know, it, it blinded the fire that the fire couldn't even touch chair like Meshach and Abednego. It blinded the lion that it could not touch Daniel. My God, no wonder God says you'll go through the fire, but you won't get burned. You'll go through the flood and it won't drown you because you have that explosion, that supernova. And those people trying to touch you, trying to touch the glory, and they're not holy and pure before God, you're going to be blinded. So you got to be very careful in this hour. And God is saying, I'm putting it on everything. If there's going to be an explosion in your finances, what a, what a better way for God to give us this revelation during our first fruit. God says, month of April is going to be so mind-boggling. You're going to be blown away of the doors that's open up. Get ready for major contracts. You better prophesy. Come on, apostle. And, and let me tell you what else he said to me. I was just, he says, tell the people of God. And I said this be, to, to you before, but you need to let this resonate in your spirit. He said, tell the people of God, you're going to go to an event and don't even know that you're the headline. You're going to be the headline. I can see your name on the billboard. Come on, guys. Yes. When I went to Nigeria, Tammy, I don't know if she's in the room, but Tammy was with me. And the only reason why I knew that I was the, 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 the guest of honor is because I looked at uh, the channels that teach you about protocol. And when I got there, I noticed everybody wanted to take a picture of me. And I said to them, I said, who is this in honor of? They said, it's in honor of you. I went there thinking I was going to serve and prophesy. And God made me the headliner. Come on, y'all. Y'all getting ready to be the headliner. No one, no longer will you be able to be at the back side of the desert. That's why Moses had to leave the desert. He had to get away from Jethro because a supernova came upon him. Take your shoes off. You're standing on holy ground, Moses. No, you're not going to be able to see all of me, but you're going to be able to see some of me. And now that I've anointed you with the supernova, go ahead and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Y'all better get here because when the supernova comes, 
and those who are resisting it, those who want to give you the promotion, those who are trying to block your blessing. God said the supernova would cause an explosion with frogs, cause an explosion with the with blood in the, you know, come on. He God just showed up. He showed up with Pharaoh. I don't know what it took him so long to say this is another kind of God. Come on. This ain't the same God that I'm serving. This is another kind of God. This must be the true and living God. This is the God that will part the Red Sea and cause his people to walk on. The people who have covenant with it. That was supernova. We could just go on and on and on. I'm going to pray today that you experience this like you've never experienced it before. That even even now, some of you sold things and look at your cash app. Look at your bank account. The monies came back immediately because this is an immediate explosion that's taking place. Oh my God, I could just go on and on. Latow, would you like to say something? Because you like math. I don't know if you about science. Would you like to say something? You, uh, would you like to say something? Uh, uh, Sharon, you want to say something? Y'all come on and chime on in on this because this is so good. Pastor Michael? I think what we've identified is that this supernova is a type uh, uh, or a metaphor of God himself because it is an explosion of light. And the Bible says that God is light and those that dwell with him must be a part of that light. And so this 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 explosion of light it also means an awareness, and that's why um, you know many who who subscribe to you know to the zodiac they say this is the time of Aquarius, which means it's a it's the season of awareness or enlightenment that you're going to see what you've not seen before and hear what you've not hear be heard before. <clears throat> so. This this whole concept of the the uh, explosion, this supernova, is again, it's it's almost as though we're entering into a new dimension, a new level of understanding, a new level of enlightenment. And the thing with that, whenever God brings us to a new understandings and new enlightenment, that means that that there are things that, of course, of the past, some things has to be let go of so that you can embrace the new. Uh, I always say before you that the worst place that you could be is where God used to be. You know, the worst testimony that you could ever have is that you're dwelling where God used to be. Although God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But that's in his essence. But there's so much to know about him. The Bible says that a man, it's impossible for a mere man to understand God because his ways are higher than his ways. His thoughts are higher than his thoughts as the heaven is far above the earth. So is God's way above ours. So he's beyond human comprehension. But there are seasons and times when he gives us inferences. I go back to what you guys were saying about Moses, that every now and then God will give us a unprecedented access to an aspect of who he is just to remind us that he is God. No matter what's going on in the earth, no matter what's going on in our lives, God remains on the throne. We, we may be in chaos. But God never is because God is not the author of, author of confusion. But the beauty of it is, is that God can move in times of chaos and not be chaotic when he moves. So chaos does not mean the again. absence of God. God can move in chaos, but not be chaotic. Come on. We when he moves, move. yes. So I need to write that down. <laughs> so, so again... When we talk about God and, and light, I, I've said this years ago that light is the essence of God. And people tend, you know, no man has ever seen God. Now, we're going to get a little bit more philosophical, but the root reality is that no man has ever seen God. Even the, the closest we've got on record is Moses and, and, and perhaps uh, Apostle Paul. And Adam. And of course, Adam. But uh, 
no man has ever really seen God uh, in his full essence. But I believe that if you do see him in his essence, it would show us, show him not to necessarily be in human form, but in the form of light. Because remember, whenever we go into eternity, after the rapture, and we've been transformed from terrestrial to celestial, the Bible says that in this new Jerusalem, when, earth, when heaven comes down and renovates the earth, purges the earth of all evil, this is going to become, when we leave here, people, you know, we talk about rapturing out of the earth, but the truth of the matter is, you're going to turn around, you're going to make a U-turn and come right back to the earth. But it's going to be a new heaven and then a new earth. And the Bible says that when that does happen, that there will not be any need for the sun because this same supernova God will be light that lights the whole planet. Wow. And we all of this is giving us a glimpse of what we took to, for us to expect. This is giving us a glimpse because the Lord wants us to operate as it is in heaven. So we be here on the earth. He wants us to operate like that. He wants us to do. And listen, you better use your supernova. I want to pray for you. And I just, I told God, I said, God, I don't want people to just think it's a ritual for first fruit. They need to have an understanding. They need to see the manifestation of what they're doing and honoring you. And so God says, I'm going to put it on. Finances, I'm putting it on your seed, and, and you gotta get ready for it. It's gonna spurt up something. It gave me a revelation. It gave me a revelation of something. Uh, of uh, uh, Prophet Sheila, this is so crazy. It was this man was talking about how when when a tree is is being planted and when it's growing, he says what happens is it's two things that's going on. The pressure is down down to that causes the root to be solidified. In the, in the soil, in the earth, and it breaks through all the, the particles and stuff in the soil so that it could be solidified. So it's growing too, and it's growing down. Then what's growing down causes what needs to grow up. My God. So therefore, God likes to put, make sure that we grow on the inside and it grows in darkness because when it grows in darkness, it, it, it resists every single thing is hidden from that, that, that the root of it is hidden from gravity and it, it resists anything that's in the earth so it can solidify and go deep in it. But then you got to, then it's, it's blowing up. And once you get that solidified, once you come out of those dark moments, what happens is it begins to grow up. It grows up. So there's two things that's happening. You're growing in darkness. You're growing when you're down. And you're growing when you are. Oh, my God. I said you're growing when you're in the valley. And you're growing when you're in the mountain. Because the supernova calls you to grow in every circumstance that you're in. He'll bring you out when you're down. And he'll bring you out when you're up. That's why you can't count anyone out when they're going through something financially, when they're going through something spiritually, when they're going through something in their body. You'll be looking at them and say, listen, I know too many people that they were down in the valley fighting cancer stage four. And yet and still God brought them out and they grew up and became even more mighty. Guess, can I tell you something? You're going to be more powerful. You're going to be more mighty than you ever been before. Stop making excuses. Go through this process and if you don't get yourself up, stop being lazy. Stop some because the same God that's the same God that's empowering us with the supernova. Oh my God. It's the same one that want to give it to you. But it's what you're going to do with it. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, it's a moment. It's not going to be there. It's the moment that God has released to us and don't miss your moment. Don't miss your moment. It is here. It is your time. And I release that right now in the name of Jesus. I'm telling y'all right now, I feel the presence of God. And I want to pray over you right now for you to go ahead and share with someone right now. Let's get over 700 people in this room. We got some people on Clubhouse, and, uh, I mean, Facebook. And, and I need you to have 10 people. Because the number seven represents completeness. I'm in the numbers this morning. It, it, it represents uh, uh, completeness. So it's 667. Help me out. Bring 700 people in this room. Bring them in the room. Go ahead and, and, and uh, 
feeding them and tell them, you need to get in this room, you need to get in this room. Because for the Lord to give us this, the Lord to give us this, the supernova moment. My God, NASA is operating in a supernova. They're dealing with it. They're studying it right now. It's so much stuff. I'm going to finish studying this thing because I believe that God is still going to show us revolution. We don't understand that God is into science. And we need to have an understanding of science because like my husband said, everything is attracted to life. Everything is attached to life. Everything you do is attached to life. And I'm telling y'all right now, don't don't get mad at someone who took this word and they ran with it. Because I'm telling you, you are going to be the headline. I see the billboard and your name is on it. People are coming to see you. We have people come to our church on, on a, a Sunday and they were so excited. They said, we finally get a chance to meet you. And we're so excited when we get a chance to see y'all. We took pictures and they were just saying, oh my God, you know, to get to connect. God is doing a, a divine connection. And, 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 and don't get it twisted now. God is moving by his spirit. So I'm going to pray over your seed. Um, Pastor Norman, let me tell you something. You're my husband, but you did a phenomenal job. On the Dagger River Movement, I was texting Prophet Sheila. I said, girl, this thing is so good. The way he broke that thing down by back, Prophet Sheila, he said, I'll never forget. He said, God showed up, gave Adam and Eve all the buttons. And there's only one tree that they could not touch. And the reason why they do like most of us do, they had all this abundance. But they went to that tree, which represented life. And we always gravitate to life. Now they had all that abundance. Instead of them thinking, we don't touch that tree right there. Because we got so much. We got stuff that we would have in a lifetime. No, they will run to what? Life. They will run into what they could not have. Come on, y'all. Which represented life. That they messed me up. And we do that. We do that. We never look at the abundance that God has for us. We want to run to the thing that's going to put us in life. That was so good. You did a phenomenal job in the algorithm of wealth, and I cannot wait. And those of you that they'll let you know when the replays are available, it was so awesome. I learned so much. But Naya was just off the chain, and your brother, the talking about the insurance, and what, it's giving us the press world. Yeah. I was talking about that was Sebastian, I'm sorry. Sebastian, sorry about that. Now I know these days. <laughs> but it was just so good, and I just want to thank you. But your teacher, everybody had their PowerPoints. They were just giving us their PowerPoints. It was just so phenomenal, so professional. And you guys gonna have to teach that in England. Y'all write this down, September 26th through the 28th. We are going back to the UK. And so we're going to be putting the package together this week. So y'all can get y'all ticket because we're going to the UK. We want to be able to um, have some time where y'all can actually go and do some things and see the city and do things. And, and, and you know, some of y'all might want to get on the train and run over to Paris because it's just a train ride away. We're excited about it. We'll be able to see Benaya and everybody that's in it will come in September 26th through the 28th. I'm trying to get Nathaniel Bassett. Y'all know that guy that I be playing, that I, um, that, um, you know, y'all be hearing in the morning. I want that man to come in and take us into worship because he is powerful. I've been knowing him way before he blew up. But I'll get a chance to see him when I go to uh, to Nigeria. But God is so good. So let me just pray over your seed. But thank you so much. Baby, you want to say something about your worship? Yes. I just want to uh, reiterate what you said before, that the uh, recordings will be made available. As a matter of fact, you can still go to michaelnormanministries.com and order a, your copy of the algorithm of wealth it was an eye-opening transformative experience again shout out to sebastian you kind of guy uh to skip norman it was an, so full of knowledge and insight that there is no reason by this time next year that you have not been translated into a whole new tax bracket that you're walking in a level of finance that you're preparing not only for you but for generations to come. So uh, you can go to Michael Norman Ministries and make your request known there and we'll shoot the uh, video out to you.
your mic's muted. We can hear you. Those of you that's partner with me, I want you to raise your hands. You love, you partner with me every month with your seed. I want to pray over you. I'm excited about what God is doing. I'm getting ready to have a meeting with you in the month of April. So be my partners so that I can pour into you this inner evening. And we got a lot to tell you guys. And we're going to need you guys to come over to London. My partners, we're going to put you to work in London, in the UK. That's right. We're going some places. And then those of you, we get ready for mentorship. The young lady came up to me. She said, I just feel I'm praying that I want you to mentor me. I'm, so you're talking about 36, 37 years of being in the ministry. I want to be able to pour into you. And 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 I, I'm, I'm just really excited about that. And so those of you, y'all get ready. You'll see the flyer come out so you can go ahead and register for the mentorship program. Partners will be together this month and we'll be refreshed with your creative ideas. I'm going to push you. You're not going to be lazy. You're not going to be lazy. We're going to push you to your full, full potential. That's what we're around for. So we want to pray over your first fruit right now. My God. Prophetess Sheila, would you pray over that first fruit? Yes, ma'am. It'll be an honor. Father, we glorify your name. We bless you for every person that is putting their seed in the ground. Father, we thank you for an anointing for increase. Thank you, Lord, for the, the obedient ones that are obedient to your voice as relates to putting their first roots in the ground. Even those who don't have it, Father God, we pray, God, for grace. God, we pray for mercy. We pray, God, that you would give them, God, and that they will be able to manage what you are giving them to be able to sow next time. Father God, give them a creative idea. We didn't mention this, Father. Your word declares you can see to the soil and bread to the ear. And so, Father, we thank you, Lord, for strategies. We thank you, Lord, for new ideas. We thank you, Father God, for open doors, new opportunities. Father, we declare over every person that's sowing their seed, getting their seed in the ground. Father God, no drought. The drought is over. Father, we thank you, Lord, for a supernatural increase in their finances. Deuteronomy 1 and 11, let it be their portion. Father, your word declares that that you, God, according to your word, that you are increasing us more and more. Me and our, in our children's children to a thousand generations and beyond. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for your word that declares in Deuteronomy 1 and 11 that you, Lord, are making us a thousand times more numerous and more and blessing us as you have promised us. Father, there is an anointing upon the sea for increase. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are even allowing miracles to be our portion as we are sowing into excellent soil. Father God, that it is springing forth supernaturally and exponentially, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, that you are raising us up to partner. We thank you, Lord, that a destiny helps to come from the north, south, east, and west. God, to do what you called us to do, that we are having all sufficiency, that, Lord, that you are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. And so we bind every spirit of the enemy. We will not have crop failure. Glory be to God, but this will be our month and beyond of more than enough. Glory be to God. We are being called for such a time as now as the wealth distributors from the body of Christ. Father, we think that you can trust us as you did Joseph. Father God, to be able to change the whole economy of each day of Egypt. Father, you can trust your sons and daughters as they're sowing their first fruit and they're getting their seed in the ground. Father God, we thank you for multiplication, increase. Let it be our portion. Father God, and we just bless you and we thank you that the blessings of the Lord make it reach and add no sorrow. That the blessings are overtaking us. Glory be to God as we continue to obey your word and do what you call us to do as it relates to sowing seed in the ground. So Father, thank you Lord for every first fruit. Thank you Father God that what we sow is an indication of what the rest of the month, the rest of the year is going to look like. It's going to be overflow. It's going to be fruitful. Glory be to God. It's going to be supernatural because you God have given us those the, the you you're causing us to prosper you allow you give us the power to increase the power to get wealth and so father we're excited we're we're, we're coming to you God asking you God for uh, different strategies of how to do it better how to do it bigger in the mighty name of Yeshua as we are embracing the multiple streams of income because of our obedience to sow and be obedient to your word and so father we glorify you we thank you we bind every hand of the enemy no black 
devil, you are lying. You cannot steal our harvest. Glory to God. We are fruitful in every season. That's what we believe. Supernaturally, we are fruitful in every season. And we're not going to go weary and doing good because in due season, this is our due season, we will reap if we faint not. So this is our reaping season. And so, Father, we bless you. We thank you for everyone that is being obedient and so on and getting our seed in the ground. Thank you, Father God, for you are the one that's blessing us, God. We trust you. We honor you, Father God. We can sow over here and reap in another vineyard. And so, Father, we're taking the limits off of you and we're trusting you because we are obeying the voice of the Father. And so, Father, we love you. We bless you. We honor you. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We think there'll be no backlash or retaliation or will be assignment of the enemy. We counsel every assignment of the enemy because this is our reaping season and we're reaping even areas where we did not sow. Father, we thank you supernaturally. Miracles are coming up that are growing, multiplying in our lives. Thank you for healing. Somebody may not need a financial break, but they may need a miracle uh, uh, in their bodies, a health, a miracle in uh, with uh, with healing, Father God. So whatever they're believing you for, God, is they a uh, name their seed, God, we thank you that it shall be so, and so it is. Be it unto us according to our faith, and we love you for it. We bless you for it. Thank you for open doors, new opportunities. Thank you for destiny helpers. We thank you, Lord, for your word being manifested in our lives. We bless you. We thank you. We honor you. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. That's through your name, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again. There were several people as I, she was praying. Thank you so much, Prophet Sheila. In fact, I'm going to double my seed, my partner seed today. I'm going to send that to you. I'm going to double it. I just feel, I feel that, that supernova that's going to do something special. I'm telling y'all, I invested in something. And I saw the supernova did something yeah. that was really incredibly big. And so there, there are just five people, which represents grace. There are five people that God has been dealing with you so heavily. You said, well, they didn't call it out. And God was just reminding me. And I I, I, I only do this if God is directing me to do this. God has told you that, that thousand times more in Deuteronomy. God told you to, to sow that seed of a thousand dollars. And several of you are in business. If you're in business and you want want to go into business and you're getting ready you need god to give you thousands of dollars there's hundred thousand dollars that's coming to you for your obedience and when god tells us to do that he stopped me and he says you have to release that i did not want to do it because i want to make sure that it was god i kept contemplating but god said there were five of you and if that's you you be obedient to the lord i want to pray that that seed comes with the supernova that it will cause it to go a thousand times. It is going to take you and connect you with people. In fact, two of you get ready to go to Dubai, but you're not just going to Dubai, just enjoy yourself. You're going there to do business. God is about to connect you with some Arabs, and you're going to be sitting up there. How did this happen? There's five of you. There's somebody else, and some of you are going to go to China. God is going to open up the door. He's going to have you with the right vendor, and you're going to connect with them, and it's going to bring you great wealth. The Lord told me this. He says, it's not going to be the nine to five job that's going to put the people of God into millions. He says that I'm causing them to to be multi-millionaires. Remember I told you that that was my prayer at the beginning of the year, that God, I want you to take those who would never dream of becoming a multi-millionaire. Help us to teach them to be able to handle their supernova moment right now in the name of Jesus. And if that's you, you go ahead and be obedient to the Lord. I'm just releasing the word of the Lord. We have, you know, on April 1st in 1983, Prophet Sheila. In 1983, on April 1st, it was not an April Fool's Day. It was a good Friday. I went into labor. I went into labor on good Friday. Did not even make, I was supposed to be speaking. Didn't even make it. I went into labor. And I had this phenomenal young lady. She came out with this little bald hair, with nice little curly hair, and this face that was just so precious. And she has been a blessing to my family. I want y'all to help me. Probably Sheila, we got a couple of minutes. You know she can't go nowhere without you singing happy birthday. We want to honor the time today. This is her yeah! birthday. This is her born day. She has been a blessing to the, to the body of Christ, to the people of God. She has a passion for God's people. And we just thank God for her. So, Prophet Sheila, I'm yielding to you. And then we'll pray and get us out the room. 
Well, well, you know I got to get ready. Yeah, you know, I just can't just go forth like this without preparing. <laughs> but, <laughs> Wait, hold on. I felt the anointing. I felt that anointment. Hold on. <laughs> Shalom, shalom, and double shalom.